Hey YouTube, just another update on my 60 gallon uh, mixed reef tank. Uh, recently I've had some issues, uh, especially with nitrates. I'm using a, uh, an API nitrate test kit and for the longest it's been reading zero nitrates. And I did have some uh, issues with the coloring of my SPSs. And I did read online that, you know, if you have zero nitrates, sometimes they will go pale or, you know, they won't have good color. And you, you know, want to be around the 5 uh, ppm parts per million for nitrate. So, you know, I started dosing nitrate. I bought uh, a nitrate powder, mixed it in a solution, and started dosing it. And I dosed it for about, I don't know, 10 days off and on. And again, I went and did my uh, nitrate, you know, testing and the API test kit still showing zero, zero nitrates. So, you know, I kept dosing. And then finally, uh, you know, it got to me, it was like, you know, there's gotta be some nitrates in this tank. So I went out and bought a Salifert test kit. And, you know, to my amazement, I was at 100 uh, parts per million nitrate. So, I, you know, I kind of panicked, but, you know, calmed down a little bit. Uh, did a, you know, 15 gallon water change. Um, sat back it, it did go down a little bit uh, I think right now I'm around 60 but I don't want to do anything too drastic uh, but it goes to show you you know these test kits you know with all the money we have in these tanks you know one bad test kit you can lose everything so I think in the future I'm gonna have two test kits of everything you know two different manufacturers uh, just to be sure in case some, you know there's question at times of you know my levels my parameters I will double check so um, that's you know pretty much and also you know I did change my salt recently I want to keep my DKA the alkalinity at around 8 I was using Red Sea uh, coral salt the pro version and by default that salt is around 12 DKH and I'm also you know dosing keeping a steady um, amount of alkalinity in the tank like I said around 8 8 and a half so you got to think after you know weeks and weeks and weeks of water changes and you're using a 12 DKH you know alkalinity salt mix uh, your parameters aren't going to be where you want them they're not going to be I don't think stable so I went to the Red Sea standard uh, salt mix which is around a 7.78 DKH right where I want to be it still has the same amount of you know trace elements and all that uh, calcium might be a little low compared to the pro but uh, you know I dose calcium anyway and magnesium as well not much you know not by much so just you know in case some of you guys didn't know that's you know my take on it if um, if I'm incorrect please chime in uh, but for the most part the tank uh, is still doing good um, nothing's really uh, was affected by the high nitrates as of yet you know how that goes Sometimes it takes a week or two before you see the damage. So that's all I got for this week. Uh, if you guys have any, you know, suggestions or uh, questions, you know, let me know. Uh, comment below. Be interested to hear what you guys have to say, especially on the salt mix. Like I said, other than that, uh, I'm very happy with the way things are looking. Colors are good. did get one new SPS piece not too long ago is this piece here it's a nice uh, light blue or teal light teal everything else is doing fine